Hey guys, what is up? It is I, James Primrose, for video number 47 on my channel, and this video is going to be my official predictions video for WrestleMania 30. Now, we're jumping right into the thick of things. Now, first match is the Vicky Guerrero Divas Invitational for the Divas Championship. I believe in this uh, match we're going to have the whole cast of Total Divas. Uh, we have AJ as the champion, we have Tamina Snooker, Summer Rae, Emma. Alicia Fox, Rosa Mendes, and a bunch of divas I don't give two shits about, and I really don't give two shits about the Smash to start off with. Um, but in honesty, my prediction is I want Natalia to win. She deserves it more than anyone else. She hasn't had the title in God knows how long. I don't think she's even had the title, really. Um, if AJ wins, I will be pissed. I will smash shit because she's she's a bitch as a champion. She's treated like a bitch as a champion. Yeah, she wins on pay-per-views. Woohoo, big deal. Honestly. You wanted to make her a credible champion, win most of the time, not bitch and moan and lose all the time, and only win on pay-per-views, because it makes no sense. So, have Natalia win, and she will go with the championship really well. She will make, she will bring the credibility up slightly, a little bit. So, Natalia to win that one. The next match we're going to talk about is the WWE Tag Team match, Fatal 4-Way match, between Los Matadores, Ryan Baxel, the Real Americans, and the champions, the Usos. Now, it's be for me, it's between either the Usos or the Real Americans. Right back, so I've lost my Dorries can just fuck off. Um, but who I really want to win and who I think actually is going to win is the Real Americans. Why? Because I've said it so many times, they're the most over tag team. They are actually my favourite tag team of all right now. Um, Usos are a good tag team to hold as the champion, actually as the tag team champions. But in all honesty, the Real Americans... It's best suited for them, unless Cesaro turns face and goes on his own path, which I don't see happening just yet. If it happens after Mania, I won't be surprised. Um, but I want the Real Americans to win and become the new tag team champions. That will get a good fan reaction afterwards. Uh, next match I'm going to talk about is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I'm going to give my predictions out for this match. Um, half of these superstars in it are just complete jobbers it's a good way to get jobbers on the Wrestlemania <laughs> and half of them are actually good mid card wrestlers um, for me it's either between The Big Show or Dolph Ziggler if, I tell you what, if Dolph Ziggler were to win oh my god, the fan reaction would be fucking awesome, the crowd would mark out like crazy and so would I, but in honesty I don't see that happening, I could see them giving it to The Big Show, which is actually my prediction I, give, I see The Big Show going over, why? because Big Show saying, you know what People have been calling me the next Andre the Giant. People have been wondering, oh, who's better, Big Show or Andre the Giant? And Big Show's like, to cement my legacy, I need to win this Memorial Battle Royal. And they've been building it up to that. And I see them going with it and have Big Show winning. Um, I won't be happy if Big Show... Oh, yeah, I won't be happy if Big Show wins. It, I, won't, I personally want Dolph Ziggler to win, but I can see the Big Show win, which is my prediction. Okay, next prediction is for the match between the Shield versus Kane and the New Age Outlaws. And a lot of people are upset that we have the Shield going against Kane and the New Age Outlaws. They're like, oh, it's a random pair up, it's a random tag team, the Shield's facing off against. Why didn't they do a triple threat match? It's not the end of the world, put it that way. We're going to see a good match. I mean, it, at least they've got it's got meaning to it, and it's telling a bloody story. That's what makes sense. Um, my prediction, the Shield's going to win. The Shield's going to win. Or unless um, Seth Rollins or Dean Ambrose fucks up on something and they split up after the match or someone turns heel or Roman Reigns turns face, I, I don't know. Well, The Shield are playing the face tag team because The Shield as a stable have officially turned face. So, I don't know, are uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins both going to turn heel and they're going to feud against Roman Reigns? I don't know. You never know what they're going to do with The Shield. But The Shield have been the best stable in these past couple of years. I mean, they've really grown on me. They're one of the best stables of all time, actually, in my opinion. I'm, I'd go as far as to say. And you people might think I'm over-exaggerating, but really think about it. They are all equals. They've never... Well, they've never really lost direct... Well, they have lost direction a few times, just due to the White family's income. Um, but, no, they've been holding the work. They've been holding their own. They're the ones that are standing their ground, and they're the ones that are the most talented stable in the WWE right now. So they shield to win that match. Uh, next match I'm going to talk about is one of the big matches of the night, and that's John Cena going against Bray Wyatt. Now, honestly, I see this match being the show stealer. I have high faith.
faith that this will be a great, great match. These two will work so well together. And Bray Wyatt, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's undefeated at pay-per-views. He won at SummerSlam. I don't think he wrestled at Night of Champions. He won at Battleground. He Was he at Hell in a Cell? Yeah, he was. I think he won at Hell in a Cell. He won at Survivor Series. won at TLC. He won at the Royal Rumble and won at Elimination. He's 7-0 at pay-per-views. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's 7-0 in a pay-per-views. So, if you move Bray Wyatt up to 8-0 on pay-per-views and have him beat Cena at WrestleMania, holy crap, you're going to raise his prestige and credibility so much. Especially with the Wyatt family stable as well. Because once again, they're fucking awesome, the Wyatt family. Another great stable right there. Um, but, in all honesty, I'm fearing and I'm scared that Cena's just going to go ahead and bury the Wyatt family and bury the stable like he does every time. Because he's super Cena. Blah! Ah, ya da da! And all that bala bala jabala monkey crap. Honestly, I really could give two shits. But no, I want Bray Wyatt to win. Uh, next match I'm going to talk about is The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. The Street versus The Beast. Now, I was really looking forward to seeing how they would build up this feud in this match from when Undertaker returned. Because that was a cool moment when Undertaker choked Slam Lesnar through the table. And that was a good start to what I thought would be an amazing build up. And what have we got? And that was a fucking fail of a raspberry blow. But that was fucking awful what they've done since uh, Taker returned. Oh, he gave Lesnar cut a promo on how he's going to beat the streak. Oh, everyone does that. Big fucking deal. Oh, and next week Undertaker then returned and cut the same promo. Oh, you will rest in peace. <sighs> and honestly, in that promo, Paul Heyman was the one carrying the promo who was actually making... The promo somewhat believable. Undertaker, I'm an Undertaker mark, don't get me wrong, I'm a massive Undertaker fan, but I just wish they would change Undertaker's promos up, like they were doing in 2012 when he had his feud with Triple H, where he was cutting more realistic promos, making them more believable, making it more personal in the feud. That's what he needs to do now, but they're not doing that. No, it's the same, oh, the Armageddon is upon us, the apocalypse of wrestling is whatever, and you rest in peace and blah 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 blah. I don't care about the build-up now. I just want to see the match. The match, I have highly faith. This is guaranteed to be a good match. We're guaranteed to know that. But the build-up is just meh. It's... <clears throat> but... And the match is also predictable. Undertaker Street's going to go to 22-0. And it's also been rumoured, and this would be awesome if this happened, that um, it's been rumoured that the night after WrestleMania... They're going to have a promo at the end where Undertaker comes out, does his la 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 la, I'm 22 and 0, whatever. And then all of a sudden Sting's music will hit and Sting will come out and confront The Undertaker. And they will officially announce a match for next year's WrestleMania at WrestleMania 31. And have a whole year build up just like they did with The Rock and John Cena at WrestleMania 28. And personally I think that would be fucking awesome. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, we don't care. It's been three years since we've been saying that Sting would come to WWE. Why should we care now? Because it's it's for, it's good foreshadowing of what they've done with past build-ups with other, other legends like The Rock and Cena. Well, I won't call Cena a legend, but yeah, you get the idea. It's good foreshadowing and good build-up for what the fans actually want to see, no matter how long they say it was wanting to happen. But yeah, Undertaker to win that match. Uh, next match I'm going to talk about is the Daniel Bryan vs Triple H match. Winner enters the title match in the main event. Um, I've already talked about the match, so I'm just going to get my prediction here. Daniel Bryan to win. Daniel Bryan to win, whether I like him or not, I just want him to win. Obviously, I do like him, obviously, but I mean, I love him. But honestly, Daniel Bryan to win. Uh, he deserves it. Triple H's got nothing to gain. I swear to God, if Triple H wins, you will, you will not believe the reaction. You, my live reaction, I don't think I'm going to give live reactions, but the reaction will not be good. Honestly, I will rage. I will literally rage. The whole country will hear me shout. <laughs> so getting on to the main event. Triple threat match for the title. Batista versus Randy Orton as the champion. Versus whoever wins out the Daniel Bryan Triple H match. I see Daniel Bryan being the third participant into the triple threat match. And him going on to win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. And it ends all great. You know, pyrotechnics, confetti, and it's a massive ending, and the crowd reaction, yes, 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 80,000 people doing yes, yes, all night long. That'll be a fantastic thing to see on TV, and that'll be a great WrestleMania moment right there. That's how legends are made right there, that's how moments are created. Um, and that will be, a, that's my WrestleMania 30 predictions, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so 
make sure you guys like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel, it will be very well appreciated. Uh, you can subscribe to Alex Wilkinson, who's come up with a lot of videos on GTA San Andreas, and all, all games on GTA, if it's on GTA London, or the, which I believe GTA London was one of the first games to ever come out. It's definitely on the PS1, I know that much. Um, and it's GTA San Andreas, it comes out with all these... Um, videos on his gameplay and also the music that comes on the radio on that gameplay as well so you can guys check that out you can also subscribe to Connor Kenway who makes good videos as well he hasn't made one in nearly, nearly three weeks he's not com as committed as I am because I'm way better than him yeah fuck you no I'm, I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm just kidding don't tell seriously but in all honesty you can subscribe to him he, he's good when he's actually talking in the camera and also subscribe to Evan Hagen who's made his first video on his Wrestlemania 30 thoughts and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Peace out.